Hey everyone, my name is Conchetta and I'm the museum manager and curator at the museums at Lyle Station Park. I'll be spinning a few yarns for you today during this tour tidbit. So pull up a chair and some pictures of this Minnesota's focus, the Netsley Yender House. A good place to find us is on our Clio walking tour by going to www.theclio.com, T-H-E-C-L-I-O, and typing in Lyle, Illinois in the top search bar, L-I-S-L-E. You'll see all of our Clio walking tour entries pop up when you scroll down, so make sure you pick the Netsley Ender House. If you're already on a virtual field trip with us, you're a step ahead and already have the link. Hit the pause button and pull it up. I'll wait for you. Once upon a time, in the middle of the 1800s, Lyle was full of farms, especially cows for making milk and other dairy products, pigs, and sheep. This house is an example of what a popular farmhouse design looked like then, in Lyle and throughout the country. The term to find on our Clio entry, or Google, is Greek Revival. But looking at this farmhouse, you have a pretty good idea of what that looks like. We have exhibits set up inside and outside of the house that show you what a typical person's life was like during this time and into the 20th century, and what agriculture was like then too. The museum named this farmhouse building for the only two families that ever owned it, the Netsleys and the Yenders. We have a very creative naming system here. The house was built by the Netsley family, Jacob, Mary, and their ten children. They came to Lyle in 1848 to get a better life doing their career, which was raising sheep and weaving that wool into carpets, rugs, and other cloth items. The house they moved into when they first got to Lyle had lots of land for their sheep and to make their own food, but the building burned down about 10 years later, so they built this one. With three floors and 13 rooms, not bad for a working family in 1858. George Ender bought the house from the family about 60 years later and started using the land as a dairy farm. He married a woman named Mary shortly after that, and she ran a grocery store right next door to the house. Some people alive today still remember buying groceries from the Yenders, and the museum has lots of historic artifacts that were used by the family. Take a look at our online resources for pictures and more. And field trippers, don't forget to check your instructions page to see everything we gave you. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Lyle Museum, or on our website by going to www.lyleparkdistrict.org and clicking on Facilities at the top. Or you can Google us, that usually works too. Thanks for listening from Lyle, Illinois, and everywhere else where history is being made every minute. Our theme song was created by Big Cats.